Welcome to Mariposa Woolen Mill Needle Felting Kit Instruction. Felting is causing the fibers to intermingle and mat together, and there's a couple ways that you can do that. Wet felting is one way, which is hot water, a bit of soap, and a lot of friction. And the other way is needle felting, which I'm going to demonstrate to you shortly. The needles that you use for felting have ridges that encourage the fibers to grab onto the other fibers and the more that you poke it the more that it felts. It's always best to use a surface like a foam or a rice pad to protect the needle because it's fragile and it's also very sharp. Everything you need is included in the kit so let's get started. So this is our chicken and pig felting kit. So it's a beginner level so it's basically little uh, circles, little spheres, and we put faces on them. So it's a fun way to start. So let's start with our chicken. So we just take our yellow roving and roll it into a ball. And roll it as tight as you can. So once you have it rolled, just anchor down those little loose fibers so you don't have to hold it together anymore. So what we're wanting to do is begin felting. Just poking over all of the surface to create a firm ball. So just rotate it around and cover all the surface. that we have it, the shape we want, the firmness that we want. We'll just start adding on the little elements, the little cone and little puffy cheeks and the beak. And then lastly, the eyes. So to create the cone, I'm just gonna pinch off some of the yellow fiber. We're gonna leave some because we still need some for his cheeks. Set this aside a second. I'm gonna fold it in half. Just wanna kind of have a little thick cone. But I'm gonna leave one side unfelted. So that's where I'm going to use to attach it. But I'm gonna go ahead and try and get a little bit of the firmness then I work on the shape. So I don't 
don't want to felt it too much, then it makes it quite difficult to, to sculpt it. I do want a little bit of felting to happen. If I leave it undone, then it, there's no felting at all. It's just, um, just processed wool there. So it'll pull apart. So now I'm going to work on the shape. So I want it to be, have a little scalloped edges. So we'll see if we can just go ahead and create it like this. I'm going to round off top and bottom, or I should say left and right. Once I attach it, there's more than likely there'll be some modifications that happen. So I just want to create these little firm crevices at the bottom of the scallop so that when I add it, it'll have uh, some shape. So I flipped it over so that I can do both sides. Don't forget to do that. So to just decide where you want your the center of the head to be and let's just attach it and then you may have to just rotate it to fit your where you want to put the eyes so I'll just have to rotate it down So we're using those those loose fibers to anchor it into the already felted, somewhat felted um, ball. It just helps to adhere better if there are some loose fibers. So since doing that, I need to just kind of refine those those scallops. So we have his little cone. So I'm going to decide that this is the front. I'm going to add his eyes here, fairly wide, his beak here. So it's impractical applying of the, the fiber. So it might be best to go ahead and add the eyes and then we'll work on the beak and then build up the cheeks. So just taking just a small bit. Poking it in the center where you want the eye to be. You can do it fairly deep. Then twist it up in the needle. This kind of helps to wrangle the loose fibers and then you can poke it into a circle. If you got too much fiber, you can poke around the edges and poke it down inside. Or you could just pull it up and start over. It's up to you. See, that's quite large. So I'm going to start over on that one. Start smaller. Poke it in. Twirl it in, in the needle.
So I want my eyes to have a little bit of a flat bottom. And it is always a challenge to get it to, to be the same size. It's just trial and error. And sometimes it goes quicker the second time. very close. So I feel like this part of the face is a little bit full, so I'm just going to felt it down because it had a bit of a ridge and I didn't want that. I want the beak to stand out and the cheeks to stand out. So let's just work on that beak now. So those eyes are just a little bit larger than the sample, but sometimes that happens. And if you're not happy with that, what you've done, you can always pull it out and start over. We're just gonna roll it into a little ball. Cause we want a little firm, cause what we're gonna do is create a ball and then make that ball have some flatter sides to it so it resembles a beak. And I'm gonna work on it, on the, on the object. So uh, just poke in those around the edges. Don't poke in the center yet. Just anchor it down so you don't have to hold it. going out around the edges and just poke down some fiber just to secure your shape there and then we'll refine it okay so I do want it to be uh, 3d so I'm going to do some shallow poking, so I'm just working the needle into the orange and not all the way through the orange to the yellow. I just want to keep it in the orange. And that will help it to stand up on its own.
we'll just build up the cheeks, pinching off, giving a little circle. Just anchor down around first, just like we did for the beak, very gently. And then just start poking it down to create that fullness on the cheek. So the little chicken. Now we'll work on the pig. Which he has similar elements, correct? So, uh, except he has ears, which will be a band across. So we'll start the same way. We'll start the same way by rolling to create that ball.
Once you have it the size you want, make sure you leave some for the ears and the snout and uh, cheeks. So you just want to just do like you did with the chicken and just felt over the surface, not going too deep. You just want to felt those fibers together so it holds together as one. And the tighter that you wrap it, the better. So you can felt it quicker. If you roll it too loosely, then there may be pockets of um, shifting fiber and you might get, uh, just struggle with having a lopsided uh, ball. And I mean, eventually maybe you'll get to felting it the size and the shape that you want, but there will be struggle. So just to eliminate that, just wrap it tight. So once you've felted, it's firm enough, we just move on to the next element, which will be the ears. So just take a bit of roving, overlap it, uh, pinch off about the length of your, your foam. Do that twice, and that should be plenty thick enough So it's going to be joined to the head at the center. So don't worry about felting this too much on the foam. We'll do that while it's on the head here. So what we're gonna do is about two fingers, marks the center, but then we'll have from that center out, we will go ahead and felt it down and create the ears that way. So just felt it a bit. You wanna tuck some of it in. Kinda of gives it a nice edge. You don't want to go too deep because you'll lose your fiber and then when you do pull it up it will be very fuzzy so try and do it as shallow as you can because really you just want the, the pink to be felted and you probably want to use all the fiber that's there Still need to flip it though, so just be careful when you 
pull it out because it's still very fragile. And just felt on the other side, doing it gently, not going too deep. You don't want to lose your fiber in the foam. If you felt from the side, be careful not to poke yourself. You just want to tighten up those edges. And then at the same time, it makes it a little bit smoother. The line is smoother. I just felt it down till it's the the firmness that you would like. It's the firmness that I'd like. I'm going to place my ears where I want them. And I'm going to anchor down this the softer fiber that's not felted, that I left unfelted. So it's going to be easy, really easy to attach it that way. So if you want the ears to kind of sit forward, if you want them to have a little raised, it's up to you. So if you want them to sit like this, then you would anchor it down to the head. If you want it to sit freely sticking out, then you would just attach it at the center. I want mine to attach a little bit more in the back, but kind of flip out in the front. So I'm gonna attach it back here. Just anchor down the back edge, the top. So it's attached to the back um, on the side of the ear, but it's not all the way down, so it has a little bit of freedom, but it makes it flip out. Okay, so we will add the eyes now. So we'll just add the eyes. And the rest of the elements are just like the chicken. If you find you make the eyes too big, you can always add 
more of the color on top to give a ridge, cover up more of the black. It's up to you. So just continue on just like you did the chicken. So this is our completed projects. Our chicken and pig. Thanks for joining me today. Hope this video was helpful. So to replenish your felting supplies, just visit us at the farm market or on our website.